Hi everyone, hope you had a fantastic week. This video Devo encompasses a lot of things. So you might want to have pen and paper to write down these Bible verses because I'm going to be a little bit all over the place. You know, it's scary living in the world that we live in, but we're not to be of the world. Now, the enemy knows his days are numbered. Now, more than ever, he wants you to be deceived, disturbed, and disappointed. And of course, God doesn't want any of those things for you. So, let's put his word to it. Let's see what he says. Okay. God does not want you to be disturbed. Let's go to Malachi. Chapter 4, verses 1 to 3. I am coming from the message version today. And if you don't know what Malachi is, it's the last book in the Old Testament. Can on the day is coming, raging like a forest fire, all the arrogant people who do not who do well things will be buttered up like stave wood, burned to a crisp. Nothing left but scorched earth and ash. A black day. But for you, surprise, a son of righteousness will dawn on those who honor my name Healing, radiating from its wings. You will be bursting with energy like colts frisky and frolicking. And your trump On the wicked. There'll be nothing but with the but ashes under your feet on that day. God of the angel army says so. Wow. So don't be disturbed. Whatever wicked has happened to you. The wicked people will be ashes underneath your feet. God has you. Do not be disturbed. God doesn't want you to be deceived. And the greatest deceiver of all, of course, is Satan. But he will be coming in the form of the Antichrist. The spirit of the Antichrist has been here for years. But it seems like with each passing day, it is getting stronger. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 1 through 7 tells about the Antichrist. And I'm not going to read all the verses. That's just a reference for you to go and read on your own time. Jesus won't come back and talk to the Antichrist or the lawless one appears. And the great falling away happens. 
the Antichrist will look like you and I, but have the heart of a beast. He will know God's word better than you and I if we don't study God's word. This is why it's so important to dive into God's word. And um, one of the many tools is available, of course, is like videos like mine. But you also need to get together with other saints because other people can help you give you understanding of God's words by giving you a different perspective to help you get a deeper meaning, a deeper, deeper sense in what it truly means. I believe, and I heard another pastor I was listening to about two weeks ago, he said this and it resonated with my spirit and I, I agree that the Antichrist could appear any day. The unveiling of the beast is starting to appear. And as far as the great following away, it has already started thanks to COVID. And I believe COVID is just a tremor, if you will, of what's yet to come. And the only thing is stopping Satan from having his way here on earth is you and I. Why us? Because the Holy Spirit living in us. And because the Holy Spirit lives in us, it is restraining Satan. But there will come a time when that restraining will be lifted. Number three, God doesn't want you to be disappointed. So it's very important not to be disturbed. Extremely important not to be deceived. And it's just as important that you don't be disappointed. Second Thessalonians chapter two verse eight. And I'm gonna start in verse five because I am coming from the message version. You also remember that I told you the Antichrist is being held back until just the right time. See, that's what I said. Because Holy Spirit, you and I, the Antichrist is, is being held back. That doesn't mean that the spirit of anarchy is not now at work. Boy, is it more than ever. It is secretly and underground, but the time will come when the Antichrist will no longer be held back, but will be let loose. But don't worry, the Master Jesus will be right on his heels and blow him away. The Master appears and puff. The Antichrist is out of there. And what a day that will be. So remember the final victories, Jesus, and those who believe in him. Number four. 
Now, this is not saying that you will not see the number 666 on people's foreheads. But remember, that number will be, be replaced by 777. How can you prevent being disturbed, deceived, and disappointed? Start by hiding God's word in your heart. As I said, videos is an excellent tool to help you, as well as books. But nothing beats, nothing beats opening up the Word of God and digging in to see what it says for yourself and ask God for His understanding. Trust God fully with everything and lean on His understanding instead of trusting man and leaning on your own understanding. Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Again, message version. Trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. Listen for God's voice in everything you do and everywhere you go. He's the one who will keep you on track. Don't assume that you know it all. Run to God. Run from evil. Put on your armor every day. If you're not familiar with the armor of God, go to Ephesians 6. About verse 10. I think it really starts about verse 12. It explains the pieces of the armor and what each piece does. Now, all you have to do is say, God upon the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, the shoes of peace, and I pick up your sword and your shield, the fire of every fiery dart that the enemy throws at me. In Jesus' name, amen. Because prayer is what activates the armor. You've got to remember that. Hide God's word in your heart. Trust God fully with everything and lean on His understanding. Don't give up on the good fight of faith. Keep fighting. God is for you who can be against you. And God will see you through until the very end. You just have to stand firm in faith and stand firm in His Spirit, and God will see you through. You've got this. You've got this. God has you. He will see you through. If you ever get weary or too heavy burdened, go to Jesus. Take it to Jesus, and He will give you His rest. And just say a simple prayer. Say, like, Jesus, I give, I leave all my burdens at the foot of your cross. It's out of my hands and into yours. I need your rest to fall upon me. In Jesus' name. But don't give up. God has you and we'll get through this together. For next video, take care and God bless.